Hello people. So have a look at the statement of this question from gate 2002 exam. It was asked for two marks. The finite state machine described by the following state diagram with A as starting state where an arc label is X slash Y and X stands for one bit input and Y stands for two bit output. Okay. So you can see they have given you a finite state machine. Then they have four options. Option A says outputs the sum of present and the previous bits of the output. Option B says outputs 0, 1 whenever the input sequence contains 1, 1. Option C says outputs 0, 0 whenever the input sequence contains 1, 0. Okay, so let us see which of these options is correct. So I've drawn the finite state machine given in the question. This machine is actually a Miele machine. See, how is it a Miele machine? Because the output of this machine depends on the current state as well as the input bit. Okay, if the current state is A and input bit is 0, in that case, output will be 0, 0. But if current state is A and input bit is 1, in that case, output will be 0, 1. Okay, so output is actually dependent on the input string also. Okay, now they have mentioned that initial state is A. Let us take an example string and begin from this state. Say our string is 001101. Okay, you can take any string for example. If we begin from state A and the input is 0, we are going to print 00. This one will be the transition and we will come back to state A only. Okay. So I am printing 0, 0 and we came back to this state only. The next bit is again 0. Okay. So we will just undergo this transition and print 0, 0 again. Next output is 0, 0 and now the input bit is 1. Okay. We are on state A. Input bit is 1. You can see this state shows this transition on input bit is equal to 1. This is the transition for input bit 0. This is the transition for input bit 1. We are going to print 0, 1 and we will reach state B. Okay. So I am printing 0, 1. Again, the input is A. Okay. Currently, we are at this bit. Okay. The input bit is 1. Sorry. Maybe I said A. So upon seeing 1, state B will go to state C. Okay. This is the transition and we are going to print 1, 0. So the output is 1, 0 and this bit is also done. Now we are at this bit which is 0 and the state is C. State C goes to state A if input is 0. Okay. This is the transition. Now the input is 0 and we are going to print 0, 1. This is done. We are printing 0, 1 and now the current bit is 1. We are on state A. You can see this state will go to state B upon seeing a 1 and output printed will be 0, 1. Okay. So I am printing 0, 1 again. Now let's have a look at the options. You can see this option. Option B says output prints 0, 1 whenever input sequence contains 1, 1. This is completely wrong. See, whatever input string you give, if it contains 1, 1, it will be of at least length 2. Okay. See, there can be anything in the beginning and anything in the ending, but this string will contain 1, 1. Okay. That means the length is at least 2. 2 or greater than 2. Output for such a string will be of length at least 4 because if for each input bit we are printing 2 bits. See, if you see a 0, you will print 0, 0. Here if you see a 1, you will print 1, 0. That means for such a string the output has to be of at least 4. Okay, length 4. This option is rejected. This one is also rejected. Let us analyze option A. It says outputs sum of present and the previous bit of input. Let's see if this one is correct. You can see at this bit, 
करंट बिट इज जीरो एंड प्रीवियस बिट वी डोंट हैव एनी प्रीवियस बिट सो देर सम विल बी जीरो दैट मीन्स वी हैव प्रिंटेड द सम ओके देन जस्ट मूव ऑन टू दिस बिट Now this bit is zero and previous bit is zero. Their sum will again be zero. Okay, so we have printed the sum. Let's move here. Third bit is one and previous bit is zero. Zero plus one will be one. So we have printed one. Okay, just move on to the next bit. This one. See this bit is one. Previous bit is also one. One plus one is two. Two means one zero in binding. So we have printed one zero. Now move on to next bit. This bit is zero. Previous bit is one. Zero plus one means one. We have printed one. Okay. And for the last bit, that is this one, zero plus one will be one, and we have printed one. Okay. So what we are actually doing, we are trying to print the sum of current bit and the previous bit. Okay. So option A is correct here. Moreover, if you add two bits, the possible answers are zero, one, and two. Okay, if both the bits are zero, zero, the sum will be zero. If both the bits are zero, one, the sum will be one. If both the bits are one, zero, the sum will again be one. And in case of one, one, you can see the sum will be two. That is one zero. Okay, zero zero can be written as Sorry, zero can be written as zero zero and two bits. One can be written as zero one and two bits. Okay, so I'm writing zero one here also zero one, and this is one zero. Okay, so these are the only possible outputs if you are adding two bits, zero one and two, and these are the only patterns that we are printing. Okay, so option C is the correct. answer to this question sorry option a is the correct answer to this question okay